Hey folks, we're up here in New Hampshire today. Had a request from a subscriber that was interested in hearing the differences between the Glock 34 and the M&P Pro. Both of these are long barrel, somewhat competition inspired. Many people use them for IDPA or USPA uh, and they're very nice and well designed for both of those applications. They're also a great self-defense gun, particularly in the house, um, in terms of their long sight radius, very good triggers, uh, and just general ergonomics. So what I thought I'd do today is sort of do a comparison between the two, a shooting comparison, and I'm just gonna run some very basic drills on some IDPA targets. I will do the same thing with both guns. I'll also do some point of view uh, video on this using a GoPro Hero model which will mount up here and uh, then it'll give you some sense of what it looks like both from this position sort of off to the side as well as uh, straight on from the point of view of the shooter. So I'm going to start with the M&P Pro and we're going to go ahead and uh, load up and then we'll, we'll uh, get this drill going. Okay so the first drill I'm going to do is I'm just going to do two to the body, one to the head. I'm going to do that uh, three times on three different targets. We'll take a look at the timer, uh, and then we'll do the same thing with the Glock 34. So we were at 2.79. First shot was 1.49. We'll look at all the targets. I'll actually just swing it around once we're done with the drill. So I'm doing the same drill. Two point six five. First shot, 1.5 throw uh, two. I threw one out. A little slower, but better accuracy. Let's take a real quick look at our target here. I'm actually just going to bring this around. So what you see is, um, you know, basically down, down one. All the shots were in there. Uh, and then our time was probably an average about 2.9 uh, from holster at 7 meters. So you can see the gun, uh, very easy, uh, and easy to get uh, quick, accurate hits on. Certainly I'm used to this, I've shot it over 21,000 rounds, so uh, it's very comfortable to me. I'm now going to do a multiple target drill, so we're going to put two, uh, two in each, and we'll see how that looks like, and we'll do that a couple of times. And then we're going to switch over to the Glock. Okay, so now we're going to do a drill whereby we're uh, engaging target. We have three targets about a yard apart, and uh, I'm just going to go uh, give each one two shots and move on. This is not what IDPA does. IDPA does have to give each one first. That's not what I'm doing right now. Um, and then we'll do the same drill with the, uh, the Glock. That was 3.91. Now I'm going to do the uh, way IDPA likes to do it, which is 1 1, 1 1 1. So each one gets one shot before you, uh, you reverse the thing. So that was 3.91. The first shot was 1.42. was 4.95. So, uh, again, very easy to do, seven, seven yards from the target, easy to get good hits. We're going to show you the targets, and then we'll swap out to our Glock. So, you can see all the targets. We've got decent hits, uh, center mass hits on all of them. Um, and this, you know, I threw this shot out, but, but the rest of them are pretty much in there. 
So we're going to swap out to our Glock and see what that looks like. Okay, so we're back out here at seven yards. We have our Glock 34. Same drill, three times to the body, one to the head uh, on the timer. So here we are, three to the body, or two to the body, one to the head. Three point three two. First shot, one point nine three. Three point zero four. And 3.97. Now, one thing I would point out is I do not shoot the G34 as much as I have been shooting the M&P Pro. So I'm a little bit slower in finding the sight just because it's a different gun. But I think you'll see with our hits, the accuracy, uh, you know, time differential, not huge. Uh, maybe around, um, well, you know, maybe around a third of a second different, 0 0.30 on average. Uh, I don't think that's truly significant, and if I were practicing with this gun all the time, they'd probably be right in the same. But from our hit standpoint, we've got great hits, and let's take a look at those. So here's what you're seeing with the target here. Uh, we've got all good center hits. Uh, we've got three in the head right where we want them. Actually better grouping in the head than we had with the M&P. But again, that has more to do with the shooter than it does the gun. The next drill again is uh, two on each target, so I'm going to tape these up and then we'll run that drill. Okay, so we're going to do the same drill, two to each target. I'll do it the way uh, I did with the M&P the first time, two, two, two. And then we'll do it again with one, one, two, two, one, one, the IDPA way. So again, seven meters from the target. Four point one five. Here we go. Five point six four. That was the IDPA uh, version. All hits are in. We'll see these in just a minute. So, as you can see from our targets, all shots are in. Uh, excuse me, all shots are not in. I threw one high. Uh, but again, no problem with that. I'm just a tad slower with, uh, with the Glock, but then again, I don't practice with it all the time. So now Four point two one. Five point one zero. Okay, 2.72, let's do that again. Two 
Okay, so that was a very quick overview of the Glock 34 and the M&P Pro. Both of these guns, I think, are excellent. Uh, I, I love them. Both of this gun has 21,000. This gun has probably uh, probably 25, maybe 30,000 rounds through it. Um, I've just shot the heck out of them. I shoot them all the time. I love them a lot. For my hands, the M&P fits a little better. I have very small hands. The ergonomics are a little bit better. The durability of both guns are excellent. I have to say I have more experience with durability with Glock shooting literally tens and tens of thousands of rounds through Glock 19s, Glock 17s, Glock 34s. Uh, they've been fabulous. I like the Glocks better from their ease to maintain and work on. But other than that, uh, the M&P is just an excellent gun. So if you're looking for a competition style uh, gun that you want to go and shoot IDPA or uh, USPA or one of those, either one of these sidearms uh, would be a great option to consider and certainly something worth looking at. I want to thank you uh, for all the great feedback we've been getting on the channel. Uh, multiple uh, new subscribers and the channel's growing like crazy and that's all a result of you. So I thank all of you for your support. And as always, stay safe.